Continuing to field questions here for you, Simily. I have a student from within the Telegram group asking, does everyone see a score drop on NBME 25? Why does everyone talk about this one as being weird? Uh, rather than focusing in on just NBME 25 right now, I'm going to discuss the notion of certain NBMEs being harder, easier than others. Okay, I've seen some people ask about uh, NBME 29 as well. So, and does this apply to step two as far as are there NBMEs that are harder, easier? Uh, and how should this relate to your prep and when you should sit the NBMEs? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the clip. So the student wants to know about NBME 25. Does everyone see a score drop? And I said I'd uh, answer this question more broadly. Uh, the answer is students like to manifest grandmother myths as a form of stress relief slash escapism, okay? One student will go down on NBME 25. Another student will come and say, yeah, me too. I did really shitty on 25. And then another student does well on NBME 25, okay? When I was studying for the 2CK nearly a decade ago, NBME 7 at the time was the exam that, holy shit, everyone did terrible on it. And I did shitty on NBMEs four and six, and I did really well on seven, okay? So there's going to be variability. So it's grandmother myth, it's escapism, this notion of like certain NBMEs being harder versus easier. The question allotments are random, uh, the same as the real USMLE, okay? Sometimes there's going to be an emphasis of certain subjects that uh, students might be weaker on. One student might be weaker on versus another student, um, but all the NBMEs are the same, okay? And when you talk about the newest 25 through 30, the newest batch that they were released together, you could by all means go backwards 30 to 25 or go 25 to 30. It really doesn't matter. Uh, there's not one NBME that is specifically harder, easier than another. As I said, people like to perpetuate these myths for stress relief. It's an observation of mine. Uh, it doesn't have any basis in reality. Uh, when you approach the NBME exams, I want you to just view them all as the same, okay? Not a complicated answer, not a dramatic discussion, but it's worth uh, the quick note to clear it up, okay? You know the deal, I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time, that's it.